Hi, Billy Mays here with Hunter Blade Barrage, the easy way to rip, tear, and demoralize enemies in PvP. Ordinary supers are boring and they just don't work. With the Blade Barrage, all you have to do is jump and activate. Group of enemy guardians gunning you down? Not anymore. Multiple enemies in their supers? that noise. How about two bubble titans canoodling in void paradise? Camp in the woods, you freaks. Call the number on your screen to order Blade Barrage today. Hey everybody, my name is Fallout, and today I want to look at one of my favorite new subclass trees in Destiny 2 Forsaken, and that is the new Gunslinger tree, Way of a Thousand Cuts. I gotta be honest with you, I don't always play Hunter, but when I do, it definitely is the Way of a Thousand Cuts. At least for the time being. Let's take a look at each perk on the new tree and what it brings to the table, starting off with arguably the best part about the class, and that is the new super, Blade Barrage. Allows you to throw a multitude of flaming, exploding knives that travel very quickly and very accurately at nearby targets. Unlike the traditional gunslinger golden gun, Blade Barrage is what we in the business refer to as a shutdown super, or a counter super, meaning it's a one and done like Nova Bomb and it's extremely effective at countering and shutting down enemy supers. Unlike Nova Bomb though, which in D2 is fairly easy to whiff, Blade Barrage is so painfully reliable. As long as enemies are relatively nearby in your crosshair when you activate the super, the knives will actually physically track directly towards your opponents. I just really have to reiterate that it is very difficult to duff using this super. Feel free to quote me on this, Blade Barrage is a better hunter version of the Nova Bomb. As demonstrated earlier, Blade Barrage really has no problems in shutting down even multiple enemy supers at the same time. It's now also one of the few members in the very exclusive I can completely obliterate a titan bubble and the titan inside at the same time club. Great thing about Blade Barrage, aside from the everything, is that like most supers, you get incoming damage resistance when using it. So even though there might be a crowd of enemy guardians up ahead, you should feel fairly confident that you can knife them down before they team shoot you out of the air. What I'm telling you is that when you're in the process of throwing those knives, you are harder to kill. I really hate to blow my wad right up front in this video. <laughs> Did I really write that? <laughs> I really hate to put all the good stuff right up front, but I can't stress enough how good Blade Barrage is and how much I really love it. But let's move on for the time being and talk about the other perks on the tree, hopping on over to Knife Trick. Throw a fan of flaming knives that burns targets on a hit. Basically, your hunter does their best Genji impression and chucks out three knives in a horizontal line. Very cool. They don't fly straight forever, though. Keep that in mind. Gravity is not a myth, children. These knives are pretty good. They can hit for precision damage, although it's unlikely that you're going to hit one person in the face with all three blades. I mean, it is doable. But the knives also do a little bit of burn damage over time, which is very nice. And of course, because you can throw three knives out in a fan pattern, you can damage multiple enemies at the same time with one melee. Now we get into the area where all the perks on the tree begin to sort of mesh with one another. One of the good things about the way of a thousand cuts. It's got synergy, and that synergy is right up front for you to see. Playing with fire, killing burning enemies recharges knife trick more quickly. Is that correct English? More quickly? Couldn't you just say quicker? Killing burning enemies makes your knife trick recharge much more quick, fast, better good. The recharge rate is really impressive at a level 3 stack. I should mention that it does stack all the way up to 3 times. And every new stack you get charges a little bit quicker. And on top of that, every time you continue to get a kill while this perk is active, the 15 second timer will reset. Now in PvP, I don't think you should expect a whole ton of playing with fire 3 stacks unless you are some kind of knife happy maniac, but you will get plenty of of usage out of playing with fire in PvE on the regular. Fighting against a lot of trash level enemies? Knife away, my friend. I should mention that this perk is a little peculiar grenade-wise. The only gunslinger grenade option that comes to mind in terms of burn damage is the incendiary grenade. And in order to trigger playing with fire, your enemy has to either die to the burn damage or die while burning. Killing an enemy with the direct explosion offered from the incendiary grenade will not trigger playing with fire. 
fire. Knife Trick, on the other hand, will trigger playing with fire no matter how your enemy dies. Die due to the burn damage? You trigger playing with fire. Kill them with the direct knife impact? For some reason, still triggers playing with fire. But you don't hear me complaining. Makes it a lot easier to continuously string melees together as a hunter. Finally, we have the Burning Edge. While enemies burn, your dodge ability recharges faster. Great ability. Not a flashy perk, but reliable. Considering how frequently you can get your knife trick as this class, you can burn enemies a whole lot. And as long as someone is burning, your dodge is recharging quicker. Works with Incendiary Grenade Burn too, obviously. As you can probably tell, all these perks work really well together. Burn your enemies, get better cooldowns. A, B, B. Always be burning. Another great part about this skill tree is that it pairs very well with a lot of great hunter exotics. The Aphidia chest piece gives you two knife charges. You can use knife trick more often and burn enemies that much more frequently. Dragon Shadow. Every time you dodge, you reload all of your weapons and you increase both movement and weapon handling speeds briefly. And remember that with burning edge, the more you burn people, the more frequently you get that dodge. How about the Frosties? Even more grenade melee and dodge regen simply by running around, which, shocker, happens a lot in PvP. Or you could just go with the good old-fashioned Stompies, jump way high over people while throwing burning knives into the back of their heads. Always fun. I have to say, as a class, the way of a thousand cuts just works. I haven't mained a hunter in Destiny for a long time, but wow, do I love this tree. Everything is tied together pretty well. It encourages ability usage, and the super just completely shreds people. You know, when Night Stalkers go to bed every night, they dream about how they wish the tether was as effective at shutting down enemy supers as the Blade Barrage. One day, young wolf. One day. And there we have it, a quick overview of the Way of a Thousand Cuts Gunslinger. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe took a little something away. If you enjoyed this content, please click on the like button. A small gesture, but it helps me out a bunch. And the same thing goes for clicking subscribe. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something. See you next time.